In this video, I'm going to be doing some meal prepping. I'm just meal prepping a variety of vegetables and protein to last me for about five days throughout the week. I use this batch of cooking to make some meals that I can bring to work. And this is super simple to make. It only uses one pot and two pans for the oven and some containers to store everything. So I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do to meal prep for the week. So the first thing that you guys saw is me sauteing some chopped up mushrooms, bell peppers, and jalapeno peppers with most of the seeds removed. I'm just going to be sauteing that up in the pan until everything is somewhat cooked. I don't cook it all the way because I do want to keep that firmness of the vegetables and lock in all of the vitamins and nutrients they provide. I'm next just going to be preparing some extra lean ground beef. This is about 2.25 pounds. I like this ground beef because it doesn't have excess fat in it. It is extra lean and it is very high in protein. I like to add this to some burrilla protein pasta which I have prepared here along with the vegetable mixture that we just saw and some Rayo's tomato sauce. going to be making some of this pasta for dinner tonight. First, I'm just wiping off the counter, making sure the surface is clean. I like to clean as I go while I'm cooking. That way, when I'm done cooking for the night, I don't have a huge mess to start from scratch cleaning. It's already mostly clean and I have a few dishes to do by the end of it. I'm just starting off by adding the Berea protein pasta to a bowl and then I'm just adding a little bit of meat and veggies. I'm topping it off with some Rayo's tomato sauce and then I just like to mix that together. And as a side, I'm just adding a few olives. This dish is definitely very filling and comforting on this cold night and this has just been a go-to meal for me. So I just sat at the table and I ate this with some water. I had a long day so I was tired at this point and I just wanted to relax for the night and eat this nice comforting meal. just put in a load of laundry and after I had meal prepped and gotten all my chores done for the day it was time to head to bed and continue meal prepping the next day for a Sunday reset. I wanted to showcase a snack that I had the next day. This is just some kiwi and peanuts. I was also doing a lot of studying during this time so here I am just taking some notes and studying for a pediatrics exam that I had coming up. I have been in full swing with my graduate program and it requires me to do a lot of studying throughout the day as well as staying on top of all of the errands and chores that I need to get done. We have a lot of projects going on around the house at this time so that is why this table looks kind of messy but as of now everything is mostly cleared up and we have completed a lot of projects in these past couple weeks. For meal prep on this next day, I'm going to be chopping up some garlic and placing that on top of some wild-caught salmon. This is a staple in my diet. It has a lot of omega-3s and it is just very nutritious and not as fattening as other meats. So I just put that on a tray here and I bake that in the oven at 400 degrees. And I'm also going to be preparing some chicken breasts. These are just some thin sliced chicken breasts that I cook in a pan that is heated up with some olive oil. I add some salt and pepper as well as some Montreal chicken seasoning and I just cook these in this pan for a couple minutes on each side. The lid on and these turned out super good and are super easy to prepare. After the chicken is done, I'm actually going to be using the same pan to cook some green beans with some garlic and beef bouillon seasoning. 
I used the same pan on purpose so that the green beans have all of the chicken flavor that has left behind and it just gives it that really nice, rich, comforting type of flavor. These recipes are my go-to recipes that I use pretty much every week. I like to have all of these food items on hand because they are pretty healthy and balanced. I like to fill up my fridge with several options of things to eat throughout the week so that if I'm craving something, I don't have to just settle with the same food every single day. I tend to stick with foods that are mostly in the produce and meat section. I try not to prepare a lot of highly processed foods because this just decreases inflammation in my body. And I find that foods that are on the perimeters of the store are a lot more healthy and nutritious, whereas a lot of the boxed and packaged food items in the middle of the store, I try to stay away from. Once the chicken is done, I'm just going to be adding the rinsed off green beans to the same pan. I add in some water so that the green beans can steam, as well as a couple beef bouillon cubes. I also add some salt and pepper and of course garlic that I chopped up earlier. I love incorporating a lot of garlic into my meal prep. It is just anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It boosts the immune system and fights off infection and I just love the flavor of it. So while the green beans are steaming, I'm just going to be cutting up the chicken and putting it into containers. I put everything into glass containers rather than plastic. I just find this a little bit healthier to avoid plastic leaking into the food. And I pretty much just store this for the week and this lasts me anywhere from 5 to 6 days. Next, I'm going to be making this DIY Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is used as a face moisturizer. This is a humectant, meaning that it draws in moisture to the skin and just hydrates and just creates very supple, dewy skin. I like to apply this in the daytime and nighttime, and you can layer other products over this. So I just buy a batch of hyaluronic acid powder from BulkSupplements.com. I'm going to be adding that into a small bowl, and then I'm going to be mixing it with some distilled water. This is very important because it doesn't have the extra minerals and contamination that other water sources have. So you want to make sure that, that it is pure distilled water. And then after I mix this up, I'm going to be adding this mixture to some vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is super hydrating and can be used as a moisturizer itself. It makes for a great solution to add the hyaluronic acid mixture to. Once I am done mixing everything up, I'm just going to add it to a container that I have used previously. This is an old serum container that I used up and washed out, and it just makes for the perfect container for my new serum and can be reused time and time again. This hyaluronic acid serum is amazing for the skin and it is super affordable. You don't have to pay the extra pricing to have a brand name product delivered or anything like that. This is at home and it contains very simple ingredients that are perfect for hydrating the skin. So I will have the recipe for this DIY Hyaluronic Acid Serum linked below. It is very simple to make. I didn't follow the directions exactly, but I find that you don't need to be perfect with the measurements. You can just kind of eyeball it and adjust things as needed. I found that the Hyaluronic Acid Powder was not dissolving all the way in the distilled water. It will dissolve over time once it is mixed in with everything. Here I am just adding in the vegetable glycerin and mixing it up. I tried to to use an electric beater to mix this mixture, but even that did not mix in the hyaluronic acid powder. There was just no way of getting it to dissolve at this point, but that is okay. It still worked. I just needed to give it some time to absorb into the mixture.
so this is what the final product looks like i was super happy with how this came out and this hyaluronic acid serum honestly is much more hydrating than some of the store-bought products i have used in the past so i'm going to continue to make more natural skincare products i've already made an olive oil shea butter lotion which i will have linked below as well and i plan on making many other serums and products to switch to a more natural skincare and care regimen the last thing i'm going to be doing in this vlog is a quick planet fitness leg workout i like sharing these healthy habits with you all to be inspiring and motivating and i just like to spread positivity and hold myself accountable with the goals that i set for myself so i'm just starting off the workout by doing some stairs for about 15 minutes I'm then doing leg press, some leg curls, walking lunges with the barbell, some hip thrusts, and some hip abductors and adductors. I've really been staying on track with my gym goals. I took a week break this past month, but I am back on track and, and staying consistent with working out a different muscle group each week. So I hope everyone is doing well and staying on track with their goals. I made a New Year's goals video back in January, so if you guys want to check out that video, I will have that linked below. So far, I have been on track with most of the goals that I set for myself. Obviously, I haven't been perfect, but I've been making a lot of progress and I hope to continue to do so. So anyways, that is going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep, hyaluronic acid, and gym workout video. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you soon in the next video.